Hands together for Sanders, and he brings the offering and bounces it away. It goes to the legs of Fritch. Here comes Gray. He scores ahead of the throw, standing up. And Kentucky takes a 1-0 lead. ...to be aggressive, and they've made two plays so far. Here's an uppercut swing to center. Brewer, medium depth, can't find it in the sunlight. It's going to fall behind him and skip off the wall. McCoy rounds second. He's to third. They're waving him home as the throw gets away from the infield. McCoy scores on a ball lost in the sunlight. How about that? The left fielder, Denny, tried to fire it in. Meanwhile, James McCoy gallops his way around the bases and scores as the throw from the outfield missed the cutoff man. And that might be an inside the park home run. So there's quite a hole left side of the infield. 3-1, lined into right, on comes McCoy. Extending out, makes the grab as he comes to rest on his belly in shallow right field. Nice job. He's had a, well, he's had a night. Gillum swings and sends a drive to right. Petrie back to the warning track, but all he can do is turn and watch. Hunter Gillum finally gets one to go over and out as the captain sails away to right field and puts Kentucky up 4-1. to one. The big hit Kentucky's been looking for, and Gillum delivers. The 1-1, one -one, swung on and chopped over first into right field. Gray scores, here comes Felker, he scores. The throw heading towards third is offline, now to second. Diving in there, Walt Schmidt gets tagged out. But it is a two-run single for Ryan Walt Schmidt. Got Petrie at first with two out and the 2-1. Grounded to short, that should do it. They'll underhand toss to second. Petre is there, and Kentucky closes out a 7-3 win over number three, South Carolina. Dominant pitching from start to finish by the young guns. Travis Smith mixed in there with Mason Moore to finish it. Travis gets the win, Moore the save, and the Wildcats get their 12th win in SEC play as they topple the number three team in the land.